Hello everybody. I would like uh, today I would like to talk about uh, usage of mouse in CAD programs like NX, Katya, SolidWorks, but I can use only NX because I have the license of NX only. I work as an aircraft structural design engineer, uh, structural analysis engineer, and C programming engineer, and uh, assembly manufacturing engineer. And uh, all of my CAD, CAM, and CAE work, I use mouse extensively. These devices are extreme devices, in my opinion. They are beautifully engineered, both of them. And they are not very expensive. Their, their performance to price ratio is enormous. These are two of my uh, daily used mouses. One is Logitech G305 and the other one is Rival 3 Wireless. They are made for engineers, I think, for cats, not for gaming. Uh, because uh, <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Uh, it's, gaming is very much like cats. You are uh, aiming and <laughs> you, are, you have to control everything very precisely. So, uh, but in CAT, CAM and CA, we are doing beneficial things. Not killing people, okay? While I'm using NX, uh, I will record my mouse usage uh, and also my uh, NX screen synchronously so you can uh, see what's going on when I'm clicking the buttons, okay? I decided to put my face on the recording also, not to freak you out with my hand only. Uh, in NX, you can do almost anything with a mouse. Uh, I strongly advise you to hold the mouse like this while navigating. Put your three fingers on top of three buttons. Okay? But uh, in other times, you can switch to normal uh, position. But while navigating, I mean rotating, panning and zoom in and out. You can, as you can see, use your mouse very easily and very efficiently. You can zoom in and out by using left and middle buttons simultaneously, as you can see. I can uh, make the zoom center according to my cursor location, as you can see now around bolt hat and now this corner and now this corner you can also use scroll wheel to zoom in and out you can use middle button to rotate your assemblies or details okay you can use middle button As you can see, I can rotate according to its center, not my cursor location here. But if I hold it, as you can see, there's a red circle. I'm doing it again. Red circle and now it rotates according to that red circle. I'm holding and then rotate. You can also rotate by selecting axes in the striat. For example, I select Y axis and rotate according to Y axis, Z axis and rotate according to Z axis and X axis and rotate according to X axis. I don't think you can very often use this one, but you can. So in order to uh, return to the original uh, state you can press the point in the center or you can press escape another way to rotate uh, your model is locate your mouse cursor on the bottom side and press and hold your middle mouse button okay 
so we can rotate in the horizontal axis vertical axis and on when when i locate on top according to the screen normal okay i can rotate my model according to my screen normal you can press middle mouse button and shift key to uh, pan and to control key to zoom in and out control and middle mouse button to zoom in and out as you know only middle mouse button can rotate so you can use keyboard keys shift and control to do all of these three movements but again i don't recommend that much in nx we can uh, use left mouse button to select for example sketch datum and extrude feature or we can select for example these circles in the sketch by left clicking as you can see if you want to unselect please uh, click the shift button shift key and then by holding the shift key pressed I can unselect the things that I like by double clicking you can edit features for example I double click the sketch then I can edit or I double click the extrude so extrude dialog opens and I can edit the extrude feature in my opinion one of the best features of NX is quick pick so in order to select by using quick pick we just uh, stop the mouse in a location and as you can see on the bottom right of the cursor location there are three boxes when that appears you can left click and quick pick menu appears this menu shows that uh, what are the options that we can select what are the things that we select construction uh, we can filter by construction objects uh, features or body objects but if you like you can see all of them for example on my cursor location uh, I can select arc extrude extrude edge the other side of the edge that I can barely see the face of the hole the face at the back side and solid body I can select in this menu the extrude feature here and drag this uh, arrow to make my extrude feature a little bit longer I just want to show uh, another feature of this left mouse button for example I enter into a sketch and I want to draw a profile in my sketch as you can see you can draw your profile with lines but if you want to switch to an arc you just press and hold left click button and after that I can press and hold to shift the line again arc line arc so I draw an arc it's automatically switched back to line mode and after that I can for example by pressing and holding left click I switch to arc mode again and I switch to line mode again arc mode line mode okay so left click can be used to switch these object types 
I would like to show another feature of middle mouse button. For example, when you are drawing a profile, you can double click to escape. Okay, you escape from profile and then you can, for example, draw a circle. Or uh, while you are drawing a profile, you may want to interrupt your profile by clicking once to the middle mouse button and then uh, continue your profile at another location. It is uh, equal to escape. For example, uh, when I press once, I escape the first menu and when I press it again, I escape from the second menu. Okay. You can do it with escape also this function, but it's more practical using middle mouse button. And now I would like to show you the right mouse buttons capabilities. Uh, the one I loved is, of course, when I press and hold right mouse button, a radial dialog box, as you can see, appears. There are very uh, beneficial functions here. For example, fit. I can fit easily by pressing right mouse button, then uh, taking my cursor to the fit function, as you can see, or snap view uh, orients the view to the nearest orthogonal view for example here is that and here it's this view okay so i press it and then uh, take my cursor to the left side here left bottom here for example wireframe i can switch to wireframe and i can switch to back to shaded with edges Okay, uh, one small tip about this is you don't have to wait like this and then fit. You can just make your mouse movement while a short pressing to the right mouse button. Okay, as I can do it now. As you can see, I'm not uh using my three fingers in these operations i use my three fingers only for navigation for example this one okay but here i uh, change my hands position and then fit fit orthogonal view wire wireframe i navigate it and then I switch back to the shaded with edges function. In sketch, uh, when we press it, as you can see, orient view to sketch option also appears. For example, when you, uh, you are going to do something in sketch, but you rotate your view, then just press uh, right mouse button and then uh, select this one to orient your view according to sketch because if you make this for example it switches to the nearest orthogonal view but here you can orient view your uh, view according to your sketch of course when you right click on any object or feature context menu appears here uh, you can for example open your quick pick menu or you can for example hide your uh, feature or you can For example, when you click not on top of your uh, object, but on the uh, background, there's another menu. On the part navigator, there's another menu. And on here, there uh, the context menu uh, changes according to the selected object. Okay. 
so it's very beneficial to use this for, for example when you press here you can fit but when you press here you can edit the parameters of your extrusion as you can see I can uh, easily change everything also uh, when you for example uh, place your cursor on top of a feature and hold the right mouse button as you can see there's a menu about that feature opens and we, are, we can try some other things for example deleting this feature as you can see I can delete it easily or I can hide it suppress it or edit with rollback as you can see I can do lots of things by right mouse button uh, some other things that can be related with mouse usage I would like to show that for example uh, when you left click on the background an intelligent menu appears for example you can switch window to your equipment assembly easily you can switch your brackets easily not by uh, going to assembly and then display parent and this is a little bit longer as you can see make display parts in order to do things like that you can left click and go to your brackets go to your equipment assembly sometimes when you want to create a sketch but when you create it with pressing the alt key for example i'm pressing the alt key i don't want any geometrical constraints created automatically then when you unpress your alt key as you can see we cannot see <laughs> it's automatically going to create the geometrical constraints as you can see now but here for example it's not catching the origin as you can see it's not catching the origin uh, point so you can place your cursor to the origin to help NX to create the geometrical constraints for you okay of course you can always drag and drop by using left mouse button to coincide lines or arcs for example I have two lines here I coincide this point with this point okay and the constant uh, constraint forms in here also uh, for example by pressing the left mouse button and dragging you can change the end limit or start limits uh, very easily uh, there are as you can see there are countless uh, features on these buttons when you press control shift and left mouse button you, you can a radial uh, feature dialog appears you can create a datum coordinate system extrude or revolve uh, or draft some uh, solids so there are some features that you can uh, apply and when you press middle mouse button uh, in your sketch you can create some rectangles profile and circles and when you press your right mouse button synchronous dialog radial dialog appears so you can uh, make uh, you can uh, add some synchronous features to your model as you may have noticed uh, the dialogues can change extensively 
they can change from application to application for, for example uh, they change from modeling to drafting or manufacturing or pre-post module or they can change according to navigators for example when I press right click context menu is here is this and when I press it in part navigator context menu differs from features to features uh, they can change extensively in order to not to miss anything uh, I also would like to talk about some other features for example you left click and wait to select with a window okay like this or I can select all of it I press shift and select all of it to unselect uh, so you can select with a window also another important thing is as I said before you can wait on an object on a feature to uh, switch to the quick weave menu you can wait for one second and three boxes appear as you can see but you can even make this faster by clicking left mouse button and release uh, left mouse button click and hold the left mouse button and then release to uh, access to quick pick dialog okay now I will show you an important thing about middle mouse button so that I switch to revolve and single curve as you can see by left clicking these lines I can select and this curve select curve number increases to 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 I select a section now to uh, in order to advance to the next level I press middle mouse button so that it advances not clicking here but by clicking middle mouse button uh, I can advance in dialogues so I select this one the text is here and then as you can see OK is becoming green so I press middle mouse button again in order to uh, execute OK here and dialog closes and my I reach my final solid which is not very meaningful in here I also want to show uh, another feature with right mouse button as you may remember I'm pressing right click and hold it and then put my mouse cursor then release it to fit or right click and fit with the context menu uh, but when you work inside the model not in, uh, and as you can see I don't have any access to background in this view in my graphics window so when I right click I cannot see that context menu that I uh, can see in the uh, when I click on the background so what can I do please press control and then right click to access that context menu the same is true for right click and hold as you can see I can fit even though I'm uh, my <laughs> I don't have any access to the background okay uh, please use control key in those circumstances capabilities of a mouse in NX is endless uh, please comment below uh, so that I can edit my video uh, thank you for watching
uh, I tried to show the usage of a mouse and cat. Uh, see you. Bye bye.